coverage of the NFL brings us to the city of Angels, Los Angeles, California. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Chicago Bears and the Los Angeles Rams. That'll be taken in the end zone. They'll be led out by their quarterback, the guy out of California, the former Cal Bear, Jared Gall. While in college, quarterback teams that improved their win total from one his freshman year to five his sophomore year to eight his junior year. Love that type of improvement. Love that type of diligence.
clear a face mask to me. To give them the yardage on the pass and half the distance to the goal line. Because they're inside the 30. So now you don't march off the full 15, right? You have half the distance to the goal. In any event, that's precious real estate given up.
makes it a lot tougher to run those routes. You still got a chance to actually run past people right now. Take your shot at the end zone early in the down the distance count. The first down carry for Davis. Michael Blockers in on the stop. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. Completion left side to Miller. Escapes the defender. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. That one a gain of 20 and a first down. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially those pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them. And a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in a game.
inside Ford Field here in downtown Detroit, the Motor City. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Detroit Lions. The Jaguars have Josh Lambeau out there to get us started, and we are underway from Ford Field. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. The Lions offense and Matthew Stafford ready to go here. Stafford still a solid quarterback in his 11th season now, but the Lions still yet to win a playoff game under his guidance. And last year's mark of 6-10, the worst since 2012 for the Lions. to jump. I think if we saw it, you know that they saw it. Might have been a little discussion down there. Bad guys coming. Pick them up. Pick them up. And someone jumped. A full start backs him up five. First and 15. Stafford going to give this one off to Johnson. It's a five-yard pickup, so essentially they get the penalty yardage back, and it's back to second and ten. And now the offense for the Troy. Running back Carrion Johnson was drafted out of Auburn in the second round of 2018 to become the Detroit Lions lead running back, something they haven't had in a long time. In fact, in 2018, he ran for over 100 yards in a game in September. The first Lions back over 100 yards since Reggie Bush on Thanksgiving Day in 2013. They're hoping that continues, and he'll be the three-down runner that they've been seeking. Looking to throw on second down. Stafford, and boy, that one drops incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. And we take you through the starting defense for Jacksonville. Let's get a little bit bigger light shined right here because we're talking about two guys. Cornerbacks Jalen Ramsey and A.J. Boye, maybe the best tandem in the NFL. Both physically able to dominate receivers. They're textbook examples of shutdown corners. Collectively, they allowed only two touchdowns the entire 2018 season. So now an early third and ten here on their opening drive. Faking the give to Johnson, now it's Stafford. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. A pickup of 27, and they pick up the first down in the process. A nice job there, Charles. They picked up the blitz, were able to complete the pass. That had the total feel of a quarterback in control. Red blitz, got him into the right protection scheme, so he doesn't get hit back there. He's got a chance to step up with supreme confidence and deliver it downfield for a nice completion. And on this challenge, the refs have to take a peek and see whether or not the receiver was able to dot the eye with both feet while making sure that he possesses the football all the way through the catch. Right, they might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. 
set them up with a second and three. Pretty effective run there, and now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound the rock. Make sure you use your old line to set the tone of dominance and physicality. And pound the rock.